So check it out, you can see we got everything plugged in and powered on and it's working great as you would expect. So no issues at all and it's running very, very quiet. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today on this episode of Newegg Now, I'm gonna be checking out the Corsair RM60. This is the RM650 Foley Modular Power Supply. I did receive this product to review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product, you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. You can see the retail box and packaging right here, walking us through some of the key features on the backside. So this features a 10 year warranty. It's 80 gold plus certified. This is a very quiet power supply as well. It has a low noise PWM fan. It's also 105 degrees Celsius rated for the capacitors and it has that zero RPM fan mode. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the contents. Here are all the contents. First up, you can see we have our important safety information followed by our zip ties and our screws for our unit. Next, you can see all the cable options that we have for this particular unit. And again, it's fully modular. Then you can see we have the unit itself. Let's go ahead, let's look at that in more detail. So here's the unit up close, check it out. You can see Corsair logo and branding, RM650. Then we have our AC input, DC output, max load and max power specs right here on our unit. Now we can look at it from this side. You can see all of our different connection options right here. So check that out. Everything's clearly labeled for you. And we have the little Corsair logo down here. Now we can look at it from this side, Corsair RM650. We can flip it around to the other side, same thing. Now you can see our fan, our nice silent internal fan right there. And we can look at it from this side as well where we connect our power cord to our wall outlet. And you can see we have our toggle switch right here for the unit. That's a quick look at it. Now let's go ahead, let's get it installed. So we're gonna be installing the CPU on our test bench PC that you see right here. I went ahead, I grabbed all the cables that I think we're gonna need. And for this particular installation, what's nice about these being fully modular, you have room for expansion in the future and you don't have to connect all the cables if you don't want to. So for me in particular, I went ahead, I grabbed all the cables that I think we're gonna need to get this operable and up and running. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna connect all those right now. So you can see everything that we connected right here. So first up, we have our motherboard connector. So you can see it's both of those going to our cable right here that's gonna to connect to our board. Bring that up close so the camera can focus on it. Maybe. There we go. So you can see it right there, what we're working with, that's going to our motherboard. Then below that cable, right here you can see we have our CPU power cable connected and we have one PCIe power cable connected. And look at all the additional options we still have in the future right here on this power supply. So plenty of room for future expansion. Now let's go ahead, let's get this installed underneath and connected to the board. All right, so here we go underneath for our test bench. We actually have two slots where we could install this power supply unit. So we're gonna install it up here at what I'm calling the top. So you can see your build's gonna be similar, but chances are you're gonna have a full case around this. You're gonna slide it in underneath the bottom and line it up with the bracket that you see here. They're universal and they're gonna be able to allow you to put your four screws in place. So for us, it's just gonna slide in like this. And now we're gonna come back and we're gonna get all four of our screws installed on the side to hold it in place. All right, so now you can see it's fastened in place. It's not gonna go anywhere. Now we're gonna go ahead and flip it over and route our cables. So first up on our power supply, you can see we have the CPU cable right here that we're gonna connect right there on our board. So go ahead, line everything up and gently press in place. There we go, we just connected the power for our CPU. Now we're gonna come here to our main board connector. So it's only gonna go one way. You can see where we have the little clip. Also line everything up gently and then just press in place. So we're gonna wiggle it down. There we go, just snapped in. That is now successfully connected. And lastly, you can see we have our PCIe connector right here. So let's go ahead, let's get a graphics card and get that installed. Now you can see we got our EVGA RTX 3060 installed. We're gonna take our PCIe connector right here. We're gonna line everything up and just gently press 
in place. So there we go. We now have our power connector installed for our GPU. We have everything we need. So let's go ahead and boot it up. So check it out. You can see we got everything plugged in and powered on and it's working great as you would expect. So no issues at all. And it's running very, very quiet. And don't forget, we have that zero RPM mode. So let's go ahead. Let's talk about that in a little bit more detail. So zero RPM power supplies allow for the power supply unit fan to be completely off when it's not needed and it will automatically turn on when your PC reaches a certain temperature. And then depending on your make and model, you can see some actually have the ability to turn it on or off or to enable and disable it. But for our particular model, you can see we have the RM series. So for us, it's just gonna automatically turn on and off on its own. But if you have an I series PSU from Corsair, then you'll have the ability to enable or disable it as you please. So now I wanted to spend a minute talking about power supply units and their efficiency rating. So in this case, we have an 80 plus gold certified power supply. What does that even mean? Is it even worthwhile? What am I getting with that feature? And why is it even important? Well, those are great questions. And basically in a nutshell, the efficiency rating is gonna be how much power it takes to convert and make power for your PC. It's kind of the best way I can explain it. So you have your AC power coming in from your wall outlet to the power supply in your computer. That's gonna convert it to DC power. Throughout that process, energy is lost through heat, et cetera. And so that is where these efficiency ratings come in. The more efficient power supply you have, the less energy you're going to consume or lose. So that's really what's explained right here. And you can see helpful charts and diagrams. You can read more online. But what I wanted to show you was this chart right here, walking through some of the examples with our different ratings. So if 80 plus is your baseline, that's gonna be 80% efficiency across 20% load, 50% load, and 100% load. Then it increases in efficiency when we go up to bronze. And then you guessed it, silver, and then ding, 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 gold is what we have. And then there's even platinum above that. And you can see the breakdown right here. So again, baseline 80 plus is always gonna be 80% across the board, but you can see for 80 plus gold, we have an extra 7% under 20% load, an extra 10% under 50% load, and an extra 7% under 100% load. From that information, you can calculate if you really want to geek out with this stuff, how much energy you're consuming. You can find how much you're paying, how much you're losing if you switch between the different efficiency ratings right here and calculate out your return on investment. Because if you're gonna be having this for five years, or again, this has a 10 year warranty, if it lasts 10 years and you plan to keep it and not upgrade the power supply unit, you will actually probably see a positive ROI, especially if you spend a lot of time on your computer or you leave it on you know, 24 seven, that sort of thing, you might actually see a justifiable return on investment. And if nothing else, the more efficient power supply is obviously gonna be better for the environment. Now we're taking a quick look at the power supply on Newegg. You can see the listing right here for our RM650. So we have multiple options. We have the 650, the 750, and the 850 respectively. We'll click on all of them for you. And what's really cool, we actually have black and white versions available depending on your build and setup and what you want. You can see the different options right here and they're all gonna be 80 plus gold certified. Lastly, I wanted to point out that Newegg has a really helpful power supply calculator that you can enter your parts and components and see the recommended wattage for your power supply. So in this case, we entered everything and it comes in right at around 400 watts, which is great. We're under the threshold for our power supply unit. And we have a couple hundred watts to play with in the future with some nice headroom for any sort of upgrades we want to do down the road. So overall, I've had a great experience with the Corsair RM650. Obviously, time will tell how it holds up long term. But with the Corsair 10-year guarantee, that's not something I'm worried about. Don't forget this is available in black or white versions depending on your color preferences. And depending on your energy consumption, we have 650 watts, 750 watt, and 850 watt versions available. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out, and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us? And subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, 
TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.